Good morning, good people. That's how St. Francis of Assisi, the founder of the Franciscan order, would greet people. Inviting you, my friends, to a special 13 days spiritual journey with St. Anthony of Padua, another great pressure jewel of the Franciscan order. This is a special series of 13 videos done on my YouTube channel, The Wandering Guru. Not wandering, but wandering. W O. You know, my friends, all over the world, the Catholic priests and nuns use a book of prayer called Breviary, which is a collection of psalms and prayers to pray five times a day every single day. I want you to be part of this morning prayer with the clergy. So, this is an unique opportunity for you to pray with them. We shall pray a morning prayer together, read the mass readings of the day, we shall have a short reflection on the gospel of the day, and then we shall pray together the Novena prayer and litany of St. Anthony of Padua. So stay with me during these 13 days of spiritual journey and experience the unique feeling of praying with the priests and nuns all over the world. Today, as you know, is 31st May, Feast of the Visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the first day Prezenna of St. Anthony of Padua. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth will proclaim your praise. Invitatory Psalm, Psalm number 95, a call to praise God. Antiphon, let us sing to the Lord as we celebrate the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us sing to the Lord as we celebrate the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Let us sing to the Lord as we celebrate the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Come then, let us bow down and worship bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God and we are His people, the flock He shepherds. Let us sing to the Lord as we celebrate the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Let us sing to the Lord as we celebrate the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I saw in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Let us sing to the Lord as we celebrate the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us sing to the Lord as we celebrate the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. O Mary, Noble Mother, come and visit us who dwell in flesh. Come with the Holy Spirit's gifts as once you came to visit John. Go forth and bring your unborn child for all the world to see in faith, that they may know to raise on high the banner of your holy grace. And now draw near to greet the Church, that as she hears your welcome voice and senses Christ in His approach, she too may rise and leap for joy. O Mary, raise your eyes and see the peoples filled with living faith. They seek you with devoted hearts, that you may bring your help to all. O hope of true abiding joy, save heaven for our weary souls. Bring us at last to heaven's courts, arrayed in robes of glorious light. O Mary, may our souls rejoice to magnify the Lord with you, as he exalts you with the praise of saints and angels evermore. Amen. Psalm 63, A Soul Thirsting for God First Antiphon Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a town of Judah. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, 
my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country, to a town of Judah. Canticle taken from the book of Daniel. Antiphon second. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant in her womb leaped for joy, and she was filled with the Holy Spirit. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you bees, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Anania, Azaria, Mishai, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the government of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant in her womb lived for joy, and she was filled with the Holy Spirit. Psalm number 149, the joy of God's holy people. Third Antiphon. Blessed are you, Mary, because you believed that the Lord's words to you would be fulfilled. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing, and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips, and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations, and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains, and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence be ordained. This honor is for all its faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and it will be forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Mary, because you believe that the Lord's words to you will be fulfilled. Scripture reading. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. My people shall never more be put to shame. And afterward, I will pour out my spirit upon all mankind. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has chosen her, his loved one, from the beginning. The Lord has chosen her, his loved one, from the beginning. 
He has taken her to live with him. His love born from the beginning. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord has chosen her, who is one from the beginning. Gospel Canticle Antiphon When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, she cried out and said, Who am I that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior. Born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, you, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When Elizabeth heard Mary speaking, she cried out and said, Who am I that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Intercessions Let us glorify our Saviour, who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. Let us ask him, May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Son of Justice, the Immaculate Virgin, was the white dawn announcing your rising. Grant that we may always live in the light of your coming. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Eternal Word, you chose Mary as the uncorrupted ark of your dwelling place. Free us from the corruption of sin. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Saviour of mankind, your mother stood at the foot of your cross. Grant through her intercession that we may rejoice to share in your passion. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. With ultimate generosity and love, you gave Mary as a mother to your beloved disciple. Help us to live as worthy sons of so noble a mother. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Remember us, Lord, when you come to your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Eternal Father, you inspired the Virgin Mary, mother of your son, to visit Elizabeth and assist her in her need. Keep us open to the working of your spirit, and with Mary may we praise you forever. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. First reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah, chapter 3, verses 14 to 18. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Saviour. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in His love. He will sing joyfully because of you, as one sings at festivals. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Response or else sound your response. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Your response. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. God indeed is my savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Your response. Among, Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations, make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is His name. Your response. Among, Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievements. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exaltation. O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Your response? Among you is the great and holy One of Israel. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 1, verses 39 to 56. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste, to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant lived in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed, and all the Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, a short reflection on today's readings. I think today's reading sets the right tone for us to begin the journey of 13 days of Novinas, or rather Trezenna. Yes, that's the right word. But pop popularly, we call these days Novina days. Novina means nine, and Trezenna means 13 days. We are on a 13 day journey with St. Anthony. Many love St. Anthony, and they long every year to participate in the Novinas of St. Anthony. So as Zephaniah says, let's rejoice and exult and sing, for we begin the first day of the Trezenna of St. Anthony. My dear friends, Christian life is actually a life of joy. But we Christians are not very used to talking about joy. We talk about pleasures of life and happiness, which depends mainly on people we come in contact with and the surrounding circumstances. But joy depends on knowing Christ. 
we mostly engage ourselves in complaints and criticisms gossip and backbiting so our joy is hijacked by our own doings and by our own thinking what is joy my friends the key to understanding this joy is in the words of the gospel elizabeth was filled with the holy spirit the one who gives a joy is the holy spirit Remember the second fruit of the Holy Spirit is joy. Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 and 23. It is the Spirit himself who is the author of joy and this joy that is in the Holy Spirit gives us true Christian freedom from our earthly sorrows and passions. For Paul the 6th said, it is impossible to carry the gospel any further with sad, dejected, disheartened Christians. It is impossible. This is a somewhat funeral attitude says pope francis joy on the contrary comes from praising god praising him freely for giving us free and unconditional grace do you praise and thank god my friend in the gospel we hear about mary's visit we must pray to our lady that in bringing jesus she gives us the grace of joy of freedom of praise zephaniah proclaims the king of israel the lord is in your midst This message finds its full meaning in the moment of the annunciation to Mary. The words addressed to the virgin by the angel Gabriel are like an echo of those of the prophet. What does the archangel Gabriel say? Hail full of grace the Lord is with you. He tells our lady to rejoice. When the Lord is with us how can we be sad? So my dear friends let us pray. O oh, blessed virgin mother of god mother of christ mother of the church look upon us mercifully at this hour virgo fidelis faithful virgin pray for us teach us to believe as you believe make our faith in god in christ and in the church always be limpid serene courageous strong and generous mater amabilis mother worthy of love mater pulcrae dilectionis Mother of fair love, pray for us. Teach us to love God and our brothers as you love them. Make our love for others always be patient, kind and respectful. Causa nostra letizia, cause of our joy, pray for us. Teach us to be able to grasp in faith the paradox of Christian joy which springs up and blooms from sorrow, renunciation, union with your crucified son. Make our joy always be genuine and full in order to be able to communicate it to all. Amen. My dear friends, before I conclude this reflection, a few questions to ponder. Zephaniah said, "Praise God." Saint Anthony praised God always. Do you praise God enough, or are you too preoccupied with only asking Him favors? Whether it is Zephaniah, Elizabeth, Mother Mary, or Saint Anthony. They lived a joyful life in their simplicity and poverty. Are you truly joyful all the time, or are you too much focused on your sickness and problems? Even though Mary had great difficulties, still she went to visit her cousin. Saint Anthony visited many places not only to preach, but also to reach out to the sick and the dying. Do you visit others who are in need, especially those who are those who need help? Let's keep these thoughts in our mind as we pray the first novena prayer of Saint Anthony of Padua. Novena prayer to Saint Anthony. Hail Saint Anthony, flower of purity and the joy of Christianity. I believe in you, O angel of wisdom and divine love, and I rejoice because God has filled you with so many gifts, gifts of humility, mercy, and the gift of performing miracles. With great hope and humility I ask you to intercede on my behalf a poor sinner I ask you in all urgency you may mention your request here I pray for the love of child Jesus who played in your arms so many times for refuge of those in trouble you know very well how much I need this gift which i ask in your holy name amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without death. Amen. Jesus, through the intercession of St. Anthony, be with us and bless us. Jesus, through the intercession of St. Anthony, bless our families and protect them from all sicknesses and dangers. Jesus, through the intercession of St. Anthony, bless and heal all the sick people, especially those who are in hospitals and bedridden. Jesus, through the intercession of St. Anthony, help all those who are addicted to alcohol, drugs or pornography to overcome their sinful habits and to embrace new life. Jesus, through the intercession of St. Anthony, help our people to be honest, faithful and sensitive to the needs of others. Jesus, through the intercession of St. Anthony, bless our youth, bless them with good jobs, bless their future. Jesus, through the intercession of St. Anthony, bless our children that they may grow in faith, hope and love. Jesus, through the intercession of St. Anthony, Protect all our political leaders from selfish ambitions and greed. Jesus, through the intercession of St. Anthony, we seek peace and goodness in the world. Jesus, through the intercession of St. Anthony, empower all our priests to be authentic, to be powerful preachers and witnesses of the Gospel. Jesus, through the intercession of St. Anthony, bless all the people who attend the Trisenda and participate in the Holy Eucharist. May the divine assistance remain with us always. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you, my friends. Have a beautiful day. Do share this YouTube link and invite your friends to participate in this spiritual journey with St. Anthony. Thank you. God bless you. Anthony